said, um, Reginald Lord, but uh, everybody calls me Reggie. Feel free. You can call me Reggie when you have any questions. That I'm, or where you can ask them. Um, but I was listening to the last two, two uh, questions, if you will, know, regarding the, the adequacy of the, the Computer Misuse Act, et cetera. And, the, and the, it, it brought to mind what, what Bernadette mentioned earlier in terms of what was happening. I was most been done in the region by the ITU, the International Telecom Union. And um, ironically, um, some of my presentation will touch on that. That's, that's a hip care project that she, she mentioned. Um, but basically, my, my presentation, it was, it was made to guide me through the upcoming discussion. But um, I think it can, it can uh, fill a gap here. Uh, it'll still be useful uh, for the, the way of audience. So um, if you can start. Um, basically, you have to refer some of these, these terms also. Yeah, we, we know that cybercrime is of a transnational nature. And as you have already um, determined, the, the, there's always a problem with legislation uh, trying to keep up with the rapid developments in technologies. So those are just some of the reasons that we, are, that, we have, that we have to actually address. Okay, some of the initiatives that we're talking about here, you, you'll see my, the whole thing when through my, my presentation is, is, is strictly, it's simply, it's simply this actually. And you heard it more, more, um, more often than you probably will want to hear it, but you should hear it again. That the, the information society or the internet is boundary. I mean, the, there's no geographical boundary. Hence, the, the, our, our aim, our, our stress to have not only regional cooperation, but have cooperation at the international level. The other issue that we have been dealing with in the Caribbean is, is um, standardizing our, our respective national um, approaches, our frameworks, actually. Again, hence the, the, uh, the Caribbean. <coughs> I will not be strictly following this slide, but I, I just have a day to remind me uh, of the points I want to make. No, these are the bits of legislation that, that, um, that apply to cybercrime uh, as, as we stand on, uh, as current cases in market. All right. Um, you heard a lot about the Computer Misuse Act, and uh, you might have heard recently about the Electronic Transaction Act, and you would, you, I hope you would have heard about the Telecommunications Act. If you don't, you can, you can check our website, but um, all that information you can give me. But those are the three bits of legislation that I am aware of. Why, by the way, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> but those are the three bits that I'm aware of that, that, um, that deal, deal with. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, that, that, that's, the, the, that's the regional approach that, that we have uh, signed on to. The Hip Care Project, and uh, deliberately spelled out what the acronym means for you. Right. Um, the, the actual description of the project is much longer, but um, I think I preceded to this, this if you were actually. As Brandet said earlier, it's, it's EU funded, it's driven by the ITU but coordinated in your region um, by the CTU. So again, you, you can see um, the, the, the regional and international links at work. Again, the objective, as you will guess, is to harmonize as much as possible key, certain key bits of legislation within the region. And during phase one of, of this project, we, we actually um, looked at nine different areas. Next slide, 